<laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome Big back. Combo. That was good. That was good. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is episode six of the Residency Podcast. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Six? Yes. I don't six. do six, dude. Sorry. Damn oh. Just kidding. <laughs> this, <laughs> damn it. This, that, we'll see you next week, guys. That was it. This is episode 60. It is over. Yeah. Seven. Six, seven. Zero, <laughs> six zero. Shortest podcast ever. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, to be determined on what episode this is, our surprise <laughs> guest may or may not, we might have to forward this over for a year from now. <laughs> yeah. uh, but so we have an incredible uh, guest joining us today too, X game medalist, uh, ch- host of MTV's a challenge, uh, aspiring singer songwriter, our Las Vegas native friend, TJ Lavin. Thanks hey, for coming on. Boom. Sure. Welcome. Too. Welcome. This is really big. So we've done a few podcasts in a row with just us. It's good to have a guest on here too. We're going to kind of walk through a lot of questions that we have about you and, and what you've been doing. Uh, but thanks for coming on, man. No I, problem, I, man. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Very lucky. Very, very <laughs> extremely <laughs> lucky. Good. I was saying, I was like, man, the guest roster so far is yeah, people, pretty man. stacked. Yeah. Yeah. For, for pre episode 10, <laughs> this is nice. You know, under 10 episodes, this is great. It. You got it yeah. We've been hot Easy. and we're only getting hotter. Yeah. This is it. This is great. This is actually, this is the open mic before the open mic that TJ has later too. So yeah, we, dude, we, I'm gonna kill it. Man. Yeah, yeah. See, he's on a roll right now. He's feeling good. Uh, he's ready for the stage. I'm, I'm half wasted today. You guys gave me those shots of the Ambrose, was it? Yeah, he's on it too. This is the first time <laughs> yeah, he's drank on board. Buddy. Yeah, <laughs> nah, off the wagon starting today. Um, never got on the wagon though, just yeah. for the record. For the record, yeah, yeah. does not <laughs> never drink on the wagon. All. Never did. I never yeah. started. Um, but yes, yeah, so we want to talk about. Look, we're no really problems. excited that. Uh, that obviously we all live in Vegas now too. Drew grew up in Vegas. Born and raised. Obviously, not, not grew up, born and yeah. raised. Born and raised. Born and born raised. raised. Sorry, raised. excuse me. Yeah. In Las Vegas, very important. TJ, you as well too. Mm-hmm. Um, so we wanted to know really quick, like what was it like actually growing up in Vegas, kind of having this city as your oyster a little bit too? And like, what's the biggest difference now? Well, it's, I mean, I think there's like probably two million more people here now. Those are just, just not, not and that that's a lot. And really uh, getting so, in your way. Uh, Blue Diamond Road used to be two lane road, and I would go down that road and then take a ride on Rainbow and go all the way to Tropicana and Decatur and all those areas up over there, like the back way, quote unquote. And, and we were in the desert, in the middle of the desert, driving on those roads. And they seemed like they were forever long when I was a kid because I was like, I don't want to go the back way. I want to go down industrial to Tropicana, which is D Martin, but yeah, industrial yeah. to Tropicana, turn left and go up to Trop Indicator, which is where my dad lived. So I was like, man, I just want to go that way because then there's a city. There's like more city feeling, you know? Yeah. And I was living in the sticks, dude, on Warm Springs and Valley Views where I grew up. So it's it's pretty yeah. intense. Like the sticks. Which the is sticks. not the sticks yeah. at all anymore. No, no, yeah. not anymore. But like yeah. back then it was like in the middle of the desert, bro. Like it was far. And there was nothing out there. It was just desert, dirt, and that's how I became a BMX dude. Did you, did you like, did people go to the strip like back then? Like, did you ever even like. Yeah, yeah, we'd ride the strip. And we'd oh, really? Ride, yeah, rad. from there, we'd ride our bikes down the strip. And my uncle was a bike cop down there. And, uh, and my Uncle really? Mike, yeah, Uncle Mike, and he uh, he was a bike cop, and and me, we would ride bikes all the way down there, and then meet up, meet up with him, then ride with him back and forth, and, oh, and jump downstairs and all kinds of shit. Yeah, it was awesome. I know dude. this guy. I know Wait this guy. Wait a minute. Yeah. So you're a deputy too. You're you're a deputy too. I'm basically? not, but I <laughs> but I definitely could have been. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like if somebody wanted to try and steal a bike in front of us or something, it's I, on. I would have definitely That's snapped right. them off. Yeah, the boy unofficially. <laughs> yeah. I'm way too fast for him. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Sure. That's crazy. So like from now and from what it was then to what it is now too, it must be like insane to see this on a daily basis. Yeah, dude, it's pretty damn crazy. I, like I pinch myself every morning. I wake up and I look, I look and I see the city still there and it just grew. And like there's another building up and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. When did that go up? Cause you can see this, the strip from my house and it's, it's beautiful. It's awesome at night. I'm yeah. looking at it and like when the people are working out in our gym and stuff like that, we look out over the city. It's beautiful. And I just can't believe that I found another building, you know, and then another yeah. building. I'm like, whoa, what's that? The lights are yeah, expanding dude. south, yeah. right? Yeah, all, all the time. All. And you're like, dude, it's amazing. And there's, there's, because I think like before I came to Vegas too, obviously, and Drew, you obviously being born and raised here. Born and raised. But like no one ever used to think like people <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. no one used to think people lived in Las Vegas. They'd be like, Never. oh my God. I remember even when I moved here, people were like, oh my God, you live in Las Vegas? I was like, it's not my bachelor party every day. Like yeah. it's yeah. a real city. Yeah. When I moved here, everybody thought I lived in a casino. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Like eight so years funny. ago. Where are you from? I'm from LA. Yeah. Okay. So all my friends in LA were like, oh, you live in like a hotel? I'm like, yeah, no, well, dude, I live in like a normal place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, but it's close to the strip. You For know? sure. You Do you still live in the same house? I still live in the same exact house for the last 21 years. 
Oh wow! Okay. So this so, this is the famous backyard, though. This is yeah, this yeah, is the famous same, backyard. Yeah, yeah, the backyard. In 1999, I moved in. I, I built it from 98 to 99, and I think I was 22 or 23 when we built it and everything else. And so um, now it's 22 because I'm 43 now. So yeah, 21 years ago, bro. So wow. yeah, looking great. Dead. Yeah, you look fantastic. Looking great. Thanks, man. You look fantastic. Still is prime. Still is prime. Unbelievable. Pretty much, dude. You yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was like. I was like, all right. So I built this backyard, and if you build it, they will come, man. Not even a, not even in the place for six months. I was in the, in in the house, moved in the house for a month, and MTV was having a bar- backyard barbecue in my backyard. Oh, oh wow! Shit. Huge, huge party, six hundred people, and the names of all names were there from. Carson Daly, and Carson Daly, oh, awesome. dude. To, TRL, TRL. To Tony Hawk was there. Yeah, Tony right. Hawk. Um, uh, Tom Green was there. Oh, like, yeah. Badass dudes, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. fun time. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're 22 with this? this is yeah, yeah. I'm 22 or bananas. 23 at that point. 22 years old. And, and Carrie Hart was my roommate at some point, too. Yeah, he was my roommate then, too. So, Carrie Hart was my roommate. Tom Green is in my <laughs> living room. Tony Hawk's out back. Tom Green throws a guitar bashes somebody in the head with it all the whole oh ashton kutcher was there that's Jeez. huge so he threw the part he threw the guitar oh was this like punk days it was like yeah, punk days. yeah. so ashton kutcher threw the guitar and bashed some kid in the head with it and it was like crazy dude it was like and then he watched us ride and he cut sick he would give us the interview after we would ride and it was like that's insane. that guy he now he's a big movie star you know what i mean it's crazy yeah that's You're, wild do you yeah, still dude. have all the the dirt jumps in the backyard yeah and i still have the exact that's jumps sick. set up how they were that day. That oh, that what that didn't change at all too. So they, they I mean, they've the, they've grown. They've they're evolved. definitely yeah. way bigger. And As way, TJ has grown, yes. the jumps yeah. have grown. They're way bigger and yeah. way badder, but uh, they're they're so big and scary now that I can't even barely hit them. Like I'm just like, ah, eh, I'm good. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I took enough slams. <laughs> it's I hit nostalgia them last now? year though. I did hit them. I hit them all last year, which is. I was sketch. I was like, damn. Dude. I feel like it's a good vlog opportunity for us to just uh, <laughs> yeah. just try it for the first time. One of them, yeah. All right, yeah. One of them. I'll die. I'll hundred percent. Some bunny hills or something. Maybe? I don't think it's really a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, no, guys. I really don't I think mean, it's I a think good you idea. You guys are all real cool, and I like you. I don't want. Don't want us to that. die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be nice too. Do you it's have so a lot nice. of like the like next generation BMX riders that come out to the house ever too? Like, come fuck around. Uh, not very many. No, it's it's pretty gnarly, dude. The jumps are big. Yeah, the jumps are sketch, dude. It's like. Like there's a couple of locals that came that that come and 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 there's a couple of pros that show up, um, guys that came here you know and they they come in and they see it and because the place is still running perfect like yeah. the jumps are all dialed, That's and right. and it's not like they're just ran down and done no for sure they're still there they're still r- running good Slayer comes out and builds them this dude that rides and then Gary Laurent comes all often Gary's over fifty and bad. The dude Damn. can flip in my backyard. Oh, wow. That's wild. So it's pretty crazy. Like, the dude is a wonder, for sure. Like, he's sick. You so s- I, I I long to be that guy because <laughs> yeah. I'm 43. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm slowing down. And I've had a lot of gnarly injuries, I guess. But yeah. but I, I, I'm like, man, I'm going to get back on the bike for sure. And I definitely want to be as good as Gary. <laughs> yeah. You know? There you go. He's sick. So he's a good He's still 50 and cranking it? 53. And crushing wow. killing it that's incredible he can ride the, the backyard jumps? dude he can, he can backflip the resi no problem <laughs> oh shit Jesus. You, and you have a guy named slayer building the jumps <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. And right. slayer and probably riding. doesn't build any girly jumps yeah. Slayer, yeah. slayer's 43 and killing the yeah. place this looking better than he ever has before in his life it's incredible yeah, maybe it's maybe dope. maybe the tj house is just the fountain of youth is what it really is <laughs> yeah, it really is <laughs> the backyard 100 percent is for sure all yeah. right now we know the secret right vegas knows the secret by the way that party thank god your house was in the quote-unquote boondocks back then because that house sounds like it needed to be in the oh, boondocks dude, back it, in yeah. the party it was days. crazy yeah we had cops everywhere like watching the place and doing the things and it was nuts yeah you had your own little island out there yeah, it was for, crazy for, for, for real for a while <laughs> yeah <laughs> When people started to build around you, you probably to come knock on the door, be like, "Hey, look!" No, dude, we still have an island. Like it's yeah. crazy, dude, because I still That's have rad. desert all four walls. Oh, oh really? Wow. Yeah, no, nothing, no neighbors touching me. Oh, that's great. It's crazy, dude. I, I feel so damn lucky because because there's airport authority all around me. I mean, I feel like they're starting to creep. Yeah. And there's gonna be houses someday, somewhere. Yeah. How it's gonna go, I don't know. But they're taking up every corner. The they're police coming. substation's supposed to go across the street from us at some point. There's a I wonder, lot of things. I wonder how they pick that spot. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Who knows? Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like there's got to be something somewhere going to happen. And I'm so lucky to have had it for this long 
that I can't complain, man. I throw the ball for my dogs every day in the desert right next door. It's right for sure. And I just live life and I love it. So it's a big win. Whatever, yeah. It's kind of like getting the best of both worlds. You still have your own island, and Vegas is getting bigger, cooler, better, yeah, but you dude. still have your own little world it's too. It's stupid. It's great. It's crazy. Winning man. on all accounts. The one thing that I can say is I don't have an HOA and I never will. Ooh, that's, that's perfect. Great. Like an HOA to me is the new mafia. Those people yeah. are the worst people in the whole planet. I think they have no if jumps allowed. This, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Um, excuse me, sir. You're going to have to change those jumps in the backyard. And if you're a homeowners association person, then you probably need to not be. Not be. <laughs> you, should, you should probably not be. That's the be. PSA right I, here. I have PSA. an HOA. Yeah, they're PSA. the worst. Yeah. They're the worst. They're yeah. the yeah. stupidest they're narcs. thing they're literally narcs. in the world. I hate the HOA. I hate everything about it. I don't even, I, I hate it so bad that I've never bought a house in an HOA. Yeah, I'm not gonna have yeah. everyone yeah. tell me. Yeah. Charge yeah. me hundred bucks a month to sweep the streets. No, dude, and tell them, <laughs> yell at me about my garbage cans and Ooh. weeds and like all this other bullshit. I'm like, yo, dude, if you tell me to bring my trash can out, I'm gonna put it out the <laughs> day before trash. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna leave on it purpose. out a day after. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. On purpose, on purpose yeah. just because you said some shit. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna go crazy. It's just, I mean, you think that's bad? All right. Yeah. yeah H- watch, H- this. Versus yeah, TJ. watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Setting all fireworks. Yeah. Shit, dude, I get. See or. I'll become the president of the HOA and abolish it. <laughs> oh, there you, there, you there you go. There you go. So. Hey, free for all, neighborhood free for all. Yeah. So if you do build a neighborhood around you, party time. Be, yeah. 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 <laughs> nice little small Welcome gated community. Oh, dude, if the if the neighborhood comes around me, I don't have an HOA, and they try to make an HOA right there, I'll be like, yeah, cool, man. And then and then I'll just have somebody come tag my whole yeah. yard. <laughs> tag yeah. it up. Yeah, everything, dude. <laughs> just, I want to put everything and just gnarliest cuss words Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. like super gnarly graphic <laughs> stuff Just, everywhere yeah yeah build your neighborhood elsewhere yes yeah, this is exactly. go elsewhere yeah yeah not yeah. available oh I paid for this wall I guess what yeah, yeah. I'm gonna paint it you start building out <laughs> right there. now you guys yeah. gotta build another thing I like it the entrepreneur you know what I'm yeah, saying HOA right. turn it, it into is. a business um, so so how did the whole tra- like how did BMX really start for you like how did that just like, neighborhood kid man just same as everybody like yeah. I, I just I was five years younger than everyone always in my neighborhood so it pushed me to get better and better and better and then yeah. all of a sudden when i started hanging out with kids my age i was riding bikes already and then they came over with bmx bikes and i was like "Ooh, i want to do that yeah so i rode bmx bikes got one for my like i didn't even start really riding till i was 14 or 15 years old 14 years old i think okay maybe 13 but 13 14 15 in there and i started riding bmx for real yeah and then and then like, but I got good at it real fast because I had super balance and super technique from the older kids from my neighborhood from back in the day. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I was already above my age, you know? Mm-hmm. Worked your advantage. Five years above my age. Yeah. yeah, dude. So, when I got with kids my age, I was smoking them. And they were Crushing like, dude, them. you're really doing good, man. You should get something. And I was like, all right, cool. So, we started racing and started riding. I started doing really good. And then X Games came out in 95 when I graduated high school. Yeah. So, right on time. Yeah, dude. Like That's perfect. The most craziest thing ever. So graduated high school in 95, I think, in maybe like June or May. And then X Games is in July, August. And I'm like watching Layup. it from home. Yeah. I'm watching it. And I'm we me and my neighborhood kids, because I didn't have cable, so I went over to their house and watched it. And I'm like looking at these dudes and they're jumping. And I'm like, man. I feel like I could beat these dudes in my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, for sure. These guys are badass. Like, no doubt about it, they're the best in the world. But But I got a shot. Beat them, dude. I'm gonna beat them. I really could hang with these dudes. Like, so, but I didn't say it. And then there was a kid in my in my from my my neighborhood that was like, "Yo, TJ, you should do this. Like, you you could hang with these dudes." And I was like, "Yeah, that'd be sick. How do you do it? (laughs) Because you don't know how to get into yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so then my friend." Nick Herta, who owned Herta's Appliances, you're part of the family at Herta's. Oh, wow. That dude got me signed up for the King of Dirt in November of that year, 95. So November of that year, we all go to Oklahoma. Oh, sick. Like all the guys from the neighborhood? Yeah, Oklahoma That's City. Rad. And it's 20 top pros and me. <laughs> and and he got that. me on this list. And I was like, holy shit. And you got to be invited. So okay. he knew the dude, got me invited, paid him whatever he had to do to get me in on the list. He's like, I got the guy. He's bad. And then the dude's name was Gork. He's like, all right, I'll put him on. So he put him on, me on. And then I went there, and then all of a sudden, I was in the final. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I got Fuzzy Hall talking to me like, yo, dude, you're in the final, bro. You are killing it. You're doing great. <laughs> you're sitting there and just I'm like, wide-eyed. Like, yeah, like, holy I'm shit. I'm like, sitting here looking at all these top pros that I've 
idolized yeah. from Jay Miron, who just won the X Games, yeah. Yeah. Joey Garcia, Fuzzy, Todd Lyons, all these dudes, man, Bar Spinner Ryan, all these guys are just the baddest dudes of the baddest. And then and I just won and I won the whole thing. I was That's like, crazy. That was your first time competing. First contest, first ever pro. So sick. And then now I'm like, retired i'm like fuck that i'm fucking rich, <laughs> yeah, I'm rich I'm just, i just dude. i just won five hundred dollars on my bike dude i i made five bucks an hour at yeah, non ferris like course. sleeve and bolts you know what yeah. i mean like that's what i did for a living i was an i was a runner and i was a thread protector at a nuts and bolts factory dude yeah. like i was the bottom of the bottom i was the guy that peeled the bananas here yeah, like, yeah. That was me. <laughs> that's me dude yeah. i was like that guy and 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 now i made 500 dollars riding a bicycle yeah in a so weekend then i was like right in in a day on a day in, there, five, yeah. in 50 minutes so i'm like all right it was five runs so in five runs however that long that takes yeah. 500 bucks so 100 bucks a run i'm down so i was like dude this is crazy. Are there so, more of these? <laughs> yeah, then, <laughs> the next day, uh, I got sponsored. The next and, day? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. next day. And that dude was like, hey, man, you're bad. He goes, but you come ride for me until you get a big money deal because I'm sure somebody's going to come offer you some money. I was like, really? He goes, yeah. I go, no way. He goes, no, dude, seriously, I'll send you to a couple contests or whatever. And his name is Chris Muller, and he rides for, he's an S&M guy. He owns S&M bicycles. So... The next week, I went to a contest in Lake Havasu and won. It was a pro contest in, in Lake And the Havasu. sponsor took care of it, Yeah, the right? sponsor took care like, of it, yeah. Ride. And I won like $500 or something, and I was like, dude, I'm rich. Yeah. A thousand yeah. bucks, dude, yeah. let's Tell go. Tell the bold guy I'm done. Then, <laughs> yeah. yeah, then, no, I still I stayed on the bolts because I was scared. There you go, I like but Then, that. Christmas Classic was in Columbus, Ohio. Went there, won. Now I won three pro contests in a row out of nowhere. No one ever seen me Never before seen in my life. Before, yep. And I mean, now I'm like $1,500 richer than I was in November 1st. Caked and up. now I'm like, yeah, yeah, dude, I'm rich. I live with yeah. my mom. Yeah. I'm 19. Just turned 19 December 7th. So yeah. in there I turned from 18 to 19 and then like it all worked out. And I was like, dude, like I think this BMX thing is going to work, man. So then February comes and I get the offer from Specialized Bicycles. And they're oh, wow. like, they're building a BMX team and they wanted me to be their BMX guy. And I'm like, all right. So then I called Chris Muller and he's like, dude, this is a rock star contract. Do it for sure. Come back and ride for me again when you're done with them. I was like, all right, deal. So then. Good night. Nice. Yeah, that was Pro nice. Props to him. That was nice. For yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, Chris Muller is the yeah. coolest, realest so dude rad. in the world. Yeah. Sick. I'll never forget Just him. want you to be successful. That's I love it. him. Yeah, yeah, dude. He's, he, cause, cause real recognize real. And he's, yeah. he's a really badass dude. And he was like. This is this is a badass dude. So along the way, I ran his whole front end the whole my whole career, which is means like the forks, stem, and 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 um, handlebars. Yep. I rode all that stuff S and M my whole career. That's dope. So I always had a, an S and M shield on my bike, no matter what company I rode for. So oh, see there you go. I dope. always had a, a, yeah. a shout out to him because like I, I, I love rad, man. Yeah, because I so love dope. them. I I still have an S and M today. So today I still ride an S and M. You know, and it's legit. Like I love the guy. So, um, when I wrote, when I got picked up by SN, uh, Specialized, it was three hundred dollars a month. They paid me three hundred bucks a month, and that was the rock star contract. So I was like, done, dude. I'm rich. Yeah, three hundred yeah, sure. bucks a month. Nineteen, live with mom, fuck. and I do contests all the time and win them all. So yeah. who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah so win them all. Making me yeah. drowning in money over here. Yeah. I'm looted. Yeah. So then. All of a sudden, X Games <laughs> comes around again, 96. I won a few more contests with S&M, won a few contests with Specialized. Yeah. I won some Cactus Cup contest in Arizona and all the stuff. And I was undefeated, like just completely killing everything. And then uh, X Games 96, I did two tricks of the same, and I got second. So I was like, oh, that's no big deal. It was my first contest. I didn't yeah. win. Who cares? First X yeah. Games, yeah. But I still made $2,200. I was <laughs> yeah. like, Pfft. Crushed it. Dude, now, That's a win. Now, by now, I have like a little over 20 grand or uh, 15, 12 grand, maybe 12, 15 grand in my sock drawer at my mom's house. Yeah. So I'm rich. So yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm looted. Like, I'm killing it. She bought me a truck for $6,000. And then, like, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. Like, when yeah. I was 16, she did. You yeah. Know what I mean? My mom put me out like that. Like, yeah. She, it ain't, she's like, she did everything, man. She's yeah. gnarly. So, so then, like, one year later, I, I was killing it, doing great, specialized, 300 bucks a month, da 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 
so now I got co-sponsors coming in. So 200 here, 150 there, 300 there. Yeah. So in all in all, I'm making like almost $2,000 a month. Just now. on sponsorships for Just life Just is on good. Sponsorships. Yeah. And I'm making 2000 a month on winnings. Contests, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, dude. Best decision I ever made. Cake yeah. is up. I'm rich, dude. Like I, it, for me, I was like, I would never saw that money. And you're yeah. living in Vegas. And I'm living in Vegas, which <laughs> yeah. is the price is cool. And, and but I had to pay taxes. Yeah. So uh, uh. now I'm like, oh, so my tax lady who I still talk to today, I just talked to her. Um, she's my same tax lady. Same oh, that's rad. Tis 20 years. Yeah. That's great. That's kind of cool. Same yeah. tax lady. She saw me go from zero to millions. She's laughing. You know what I mean? She's like, <laughs> you got to be shitting me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like doesn't. You're riding what? Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, she, yeah. So so I paid like six grand in taxes that year or something, like whatever it was. Yeah. And I was like, God damn, really? She's like, yeah. And I was like, dang, man. I got my whole savings. Yeah. 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 So, I, you know, so I saved, put it in there. And then, uh, so I paid my taxes every year. And, and then uh, 97 came around and, and I was favored to win. And I won. And 97 X Games. And I won That's that. That's crazy. And then uh, 98 had some bad luck, got injuries, broken wrists and everything else. And then I went to Europe and won the world championships and, and, and had to get my confidence back. Yeah. You know, so I went to Europe and did great. Killed it there. Won a bunch of stuff there and, and made a bunch of money and laughed and then came home. 99 San Francisco won again X Games. So then now I'm like, on a pretty good streak, pretty yeah. good run. X Games, games at this point in time too was like so huge, huge, huge bro. Yeah, there was a, it was so a super big. bowl, dude. Yeah. There's this guy named Ron Simeo who invented the X Games. He's the yeah. baddest dude I know. <laughs> and he was like, hey, TJ. And he talks like that. And he's, <laughs> ah, TJ, here I am. And he'd be like, come to my contest. <laughs> he'd always be at my contest every single time, no matter what. Ron Simeo. Baddest dude ever. I mean, he changed so, like the whole, the whole game of extreme sports, like everything about too. Can you imagine? Like yeah. in the very beginning, probably the premise, everyone probably kind of laughed him out of the room a little bit too. Man, I don't know. Are people yeah, gonna dude. really come watch yeah. this? Yeah, man. And it became like no, for sure he did. He, he he's he's a badass dude. So he, him and then uh, then Gravity Games came out and oh, Gravity yeah. Games yeah. was yeah. like NBC yeah. and we were back in Rhode Island, where in the same exact location that I got second that one year. Yep. And I was like, damn, dude. So I just went there and snapped off Gravity Games, won that one. That was a big deal. Like, huge. They had medals and, and that was network television. And it was and I was getting all this time, I was getting bonuses from specialized and Got all this it. stuff, like heavy bonuses. Yeah, when you yeah. win, yeah, yeah. They pay. Thousands yeah. at yeah. a time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm stacking chips and I had forty five thousand dollars in my sock drawer. In the sock drawer. Yeah, I'm like, yo, dude, I'm done. Yeah. I'm retired. Like really, I can retire <laughs> yeah. now. Like in my mind, I, I, I'm rich. I'm good. This is, good. This is plenty. I, I walked away. I, I can literally pay, walk still. Yeah. I can seriously pay two hundred dollars a month rent for the rest of my life. Yeah. Fair and this live. Fair. <laughs> yeah, fair. Fair. <laughs> fair. Fair wages. That's how stupid I was. I was like, dude, I'm just gonna pay two hundred bucks a month to somebody yeah. for their bedroom. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna live for the rest. That's of a my wrap. Life. Yeah, I'm done. I'm laughing. So then, uh, then when I was twenty, twenty. I still doing good and everything else, but I still only made 350 bucks a month from specialized my main contract. But then I had all those co-sponsors and all that stuff and everything was all whatever, but I had all that money saved and I, uh, I put all that money down on a house in, in like almost to Summerlin, but it's like on peace in Durango. Yeah. yeah and, and so that was way out there back then. There's yeah, no yeah. 215. So 215 yeah. wasn't happening yet. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I just had a desert, me and yeah. the desert. And I was like, perfect. I'll just move there. So I did lived in that house for a year. And then all of a sudden the 215 got built. Everything was yeah. started encroaching. I was like, damn, I got to get out of here. I got to get a land. I got to get a lot. So I bought that lot when I was 21. And that's it. It's been around since then. Yeah. It's crazy. How was like those X game moments back then too? That must have they been so sick, crazy. Dude. They were sick. Like it was a time I'll never forget. I can't believe like, that it happened to me. You know? So like, obviously when the X Games were going to, we were talking about this earlier, like was everybody like homies back then too? I yeah. Know, you guys were like intense competitors, but everybody was like boys, oh, dude, right? Yeah. It was like too, super tight. Yeah. Like, That's dope. Yeah. Cause everybody knew that you could just eat shit and die. Right. At any moment. Just the respect and, was so high. For yeah. Everybody. And it actually happened to a couple of guys. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Some dudes went down. Yeah. Like Stephen Murray, like quadriplegic, like in one, you know, blink of an eye. And like, yeah. he's, he's my boy. You know what I mean? Like I you all him. knew what it takes yeah, he's to like get our brother. up there and do it. Right. 
That's good though. I mean, we were we were talking about that too, like at that the height of competition, right? Where it's like there's a lot of stuff on the line, like titles, medals, money, all these things too. But it was really kind of like the mutual respect for everybody yeah. was just heavily outweighed everything else. Yeah, it did. It was it was weird because you're right. There's a lot of money on the line. There's a lot of things on the line. But the money part of it was so easy for us. Yeah, like it came so easy that it, it seems went like everyone just couldn't easy believe too. that you guys are making yeah. money doing it. We like didn't you're so give happy. a shit yeah. about it. Like it was like whatever, dude. Yeah. Like, you would have done cares? it for free probably anyways. Yeah, well, we were. Yeah. So, yeah. That's so dumb. I mean, like, what a wild transition to go from. Like, oh, I'm going to try BMX biking too, king of dirt, gold medals, <laughs> yeah. traveling the world, doing the whole nine. You miss it a little bit? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. we had the best time ever. Like, me and this dude named Mike Hayek, who, uh, he was my teammate. We started Specialized together. He was the double A pro, which is the BMX racer. Okay. And I was the freestyle guy, the jumper. Yeah. So we traveled all around the world together. And then wow. he broke his back. And when he broke his back, he got out of it and he, he shut everything off. He was so depressed. It's crazy. He's like, I'm, I'm going to change my name. It's a way of life, right? I'm going to change like, my, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, I'm changing everything. He moved to Hollywood, became a trainer to the stars. And then started, picked up a camera. He's like, this is easy. Started picking up a camera instead of taking pictures of people. And he's like, cool. And he like, he, he like approached taking pictures real funny and real charismatic to where the models and stuff would laugh and have the best shots. So he yeah. was like making everybody laugh and taking the best pictures because he's a genius. And yeah. so he would do that. And he was just faking it till he made it. He changed his name to Michael Vincent. And now there's a Michael Vincent Academy hair and makeup place. And like my daughter wants to go there. And like all That's this wild. stuff is like huge. The guy blew up. That's crazy. And now he's Michael Vincent from Michael Vincent's hair and makeup academy. And the dude is the Michael Vincent Academy is a, is off and running. And That's it's bananas. huge in Hawaii and uh, Hollywood. And he's like the man. And and like that's wild. And and it my from, brother. Yeah, you know what I mean? That is like, yeah. crazy. I called him. I'm like, yo, Mike. Because his, his name's still Mike Hayek to me. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yo, Mike. Um, or, I was like, hey, is Mike Hayek there? And then he's like, yeah, that's Michael Vincent. And I was like, oh, sorry. Yeah. And, and he's like, hold on. And I said, Mike. And he goes, what's up, bro? And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's really you. The hell? He goes. Dude, you have no idea what I've been through the last 15 years. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? And he's like, dude, I, I'm, 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 like, so, I'm so proud of you, man. And he was like, dude, I'm so proud of you. And I was That's like, dude, so cool. it's crazy, man. So I was like, hey, my daughter wants to come to your school. And he goes, done. Whatever she needs. You want to live with me? No problem. Like, the That's dude love, is man. just That's like, love. crazy. Instantly yeah. was like, yeah, I mean, I saw him probably like five times in between you know, over the last 15, yeah. 20 years. Yeah. 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 And he would like stop by and look crazy funky hair and <laughs> all this stuff. But I didn't know he changed his name to Michael Vincent. <laughs> and uh, you know what I mean? a huge alias. But what a badass dude. Like yeah. just, to just eat shit and then all of a sudden just say, you know what? I'm just going to change everything in my life and just do it. And just pick it up. Yeah. And, and then, then kill it. And then own it. And then yeah, yeah. did it and yeah. killed it. Yeah. You know, so it's just a badass dude. I mean, that's why we're like life after being an athlete, right? Too like, you know, yeah. you never know. It what's ain't easy, bro. Yeah. It ain't easy. So and how like CTE and all that stuff that, that, you know, they think that maybe all of us have and stuff like that. But the reason that, that Pete, these dudes are all like off of themselves is, is the alcohol and, and, and pills like sure yeah yeah if you if you mix those two at all i feel like it's a, it's a recipe for disaster with somebody with head injuries for sure for yeah. sure yeah. Absolutely. absolutely so so how did this transition happen for you so you're you know bmx world you're obviously on the top of it Crushing at that it. time too so how did that transition to mtv happen like how did how did you go from that to, to hosting well this dude was sweeping the back porch on 1999 and it, at the party oh, at the party at the, he, big the morning of party. the party the morning of the backyard party and his name was Vinny Potestivo. And I was like, bro, come in for breakfast. And he's like, oh, no, I got to finish this up. I was like, no, man, I'll help you. I'll, we'll just bang it out and then yeah. you know, come in and hang out. And he's like, all right, cool. So he did. And he hung out and he was real, real cool. And and we got along great. And then 10 years later, maybe five years later, six years later, 19, in 2004 or five, five, five years later, maybe. Sorry. And uh, um, he, I called him. I was in New York City. Yeah. But he called me every year for my birthday. 
which was weird. Solid. Dude, you know what's crazy? I have somebody that does that. There's a couple yeah. people I know that just, they'll always know your birthday and they'll call you. Yeah. It's like, Bravo. dude, man, I've been talking to you all year. Yeah. It's kind of cool, honestly. My text message is like, my birthday, my birthday, my yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, birthday, bro. Hope yeah. all's well. Yeah, appreciate you. You too, bro. I love it's that. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, rad. man. So, so he called me on my birthday and he's like, every year. I'm like, Finny, man, how you doing, brother? He's like, go oh, great. And I go, cool, cool. So then I went to New York City, signed with WME. Okay. And when I, when I did, I called him because he always called me. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, man, I'm in New York. I go, yeah, sweet, dude. He goes, I'm in my office in MTV. And I go, what? He goes, yeah. I go, he goes, come visit me. I go, dude, I'm right up the street. I'm at WME. He goes, oh, shit, I'll be there. So I went over there to the office, go up to MTV, go into the office, go up the escal- elevator, go to his office, and he has rainbows everywhere. And I'm like, Vinny, are you gay? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah. I go, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what do you mean? I go, dude, look at you. You're the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you deserve it. And he laughed his ass off. And he's like, dude, that was really funny. And I was like, oh, I, I, it's true. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. And, and he's like, he goes, hey, do you want a show? And I was like, what? Yeah. Yes, Vinny, what do you yes. Mean? Sure. He goes, yeah, the challenge. Uh, we're looking for a new host for the challenge. And I go, oh, no, that's Dave's show. My yeah. friend Dave Mira. Yeah. And uh, I, he goes, no, I think he's over it. He goes, call him. I was like, all right. So I picked up my phone right there, called him. And Dave goes, no, dude, do it. You'll do like one or two seasons. Don't stress, man. You'll love it. He goes, he goes, but you'll get over it. And I was like, all right. So then I got cool. I'm going to do it. I hung up the phone. I go, all right, Vinny, I'll do it. He goes, <laughs> I love that. right so there on good. the spot. He goes, all right, cool, man. You're in. I go, this really? is the best story ever. This is the sickest audition. Yeah. Quote, yeah. quote, audition so then he ever. goes, he goes, all right, cool. So then he took me into the, the, the main lady. Her name is um, Jackie French. And she is the coolest. We got along like that instantly, man. She, we, we, were, we were family. That's it was dope. crazy. And, uh, and he goes, this is the main lady of the challenge. Like she, she's running things like she's she, MTV period. Yeah. But, yeah. but for the challenge, especially she's the one that's the one head honcho. Yeah, dude, head honcho. And he's, uh, he, so he said, uh, I'm going to introduce you to her and then you're good. I, all right, cool. So he did. And then I did, and it was good and it was awesome. And then, um, that year they had Dave do another one instead of putting me on. But I sent her that Christmas, I sent her rope to get out of her office if there was a fire. I sent her the exact, <laughs> so she was on the 30th floor, so I sent her 350 foot of rope for her for Christmas. Okay. And I said, listen, if, if anything ever happens, tie this to your desk and then break the window out and climb down the rope. And so, <laughs> so then she said, what? she goes, that's the most thoughtful, craziest present anybody's ever given me. <laughs> Wow, because because all those people. I want to see someone's face opening yeah. this. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh got so it. Right after for sure. That. Yeah, this is okay. 2005. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm up there in 2005. I'm looking at a thing. I'm creeped out. I'm like, yo, like, man. How the hell am I get out of here? Yeah, so I'm looking at everything. How do I get out of here? What do I do? How do I work it? And then all of a sudden, I'm like, rope. So then, because yeah. at first I was like, just do a base jump. Then I was like, base jump would be cooler. But what if there's some debris? Yeah, yeah. Or if she doesn't know how to open a parachute. Be practical. You know what I mean? Be practical here. So let's just do something that everybody can use. So then a rope is everybody can use it. So tie it onto the desk. It's a wrap. It done. So then like if those people would have had something like that, they could have got down to at least the fourth floor, yeah, break that one out and yeah. go in and whatever. Yeah. But anyway, so so she was like, that's really sweet. <laughs> She's like, let's get them on the thing. To, they, they put me on the next show. <laughs> that's so funny. Like, Holy shit. But not because of the rope, but that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's just the like cherry a, on the top. It yeah, probably, yeah. It probably yeah. Like, like got something stirring. Like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You let's, know, let's do it. Yeah. Creative ass president. Yeah, but then, uh, like, I, then we had to go to Hollywood and talk to the executive producers. So we're sitting around the table, and they were like, and I was still winning BMX at this time. Okay. And, yeah. and, and they were like, yo, so if you were us, who would you choose? And it was between me. My brother Nasty, who's a BMX brother of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty, who's more charisma and as pinky than anyone in the world. And uh, some snowboarder kid who's really cool, real very good looking, cool kid. Yeah. And uh, and then they go, Who'd you choose? And I was like, Oh, it's easy, nasty, for sure. Yeah. And they were like, What? <laughs> yeah. I was like, we were expecting say you. you to say you. Yeah. We want we want to hear why you want to want the job. And I go, no, I really nasty's the guy. Yeah. He's he's <laughs> yeah. funny, dude. Like <laughs> nasty's so funny. If you want somebody to show up on time, I'm definitely your guy. Yeah. But nasty's the guy, dude. He'll sell it. He's the guy that you want. And 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 he wasn't winning at the time. 
So I knew like he could use it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So then uh, Justin Booth, who became a brother of mine from from the TV show, he he's the executive producer. He's the main dude. He was like, all right. He's like, he's, <laughs> he's from he's from Alabama. So good. He's so from good. Alabama. I'm like, so what good. the hell? He's like. <laughs> I'm like, dude, who's this guy? I mean, he's talking about, like, like he's talking slow and like Alabama draw. I'm like, all right. So I was like, I, I like you. Like, oh shit. Fair enough. He's like, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I like him, but. And I'm like, damn, this is this guy's badass. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then I was like, all right, cool. See you guys later. And I drove home back, back to Vegas. And then I started riding again, whatever, whatever. And then they were like, all right, we're getting nasty. They called Jackie French. And she goes, no, you're not. You're taking TJ. And then they were like. Uh, no, we really like nasty. And the, she goes, "I don't care. Yeah. TJ's your guy." Oh, I'm the boss. I'm the like, boss. I'm the boss. Yeah. And then he was like, "Okay, TJ's our guy." TJ, boom, brrr. yeah, yo, you do this thing. I was like, "Cool." So then I did it, and then I went to Trinidad and Tobago, started filming, left halfway through the season, entered a contest in Louisville, Kentucky, oh, flew, got fourth, flew back to 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 Trinidad and Tobago. And and finish the season. And finish the season. Yeah. So like Holy when the season was starting, you still you're not riding in Trinidad, right? You're just like oh, doing nah. your thing, and then like all right, fuck this, I'm gonna go do yeah. my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. I love that. That's yeah, good. dudes, I had to go. I had to pin it to Louisville, Kentucky, and then like it was just for the weekend. Yeah. So I just went there, and I was still a little bit rusty, you know. Yeah. I was like I had ridden in three weeks. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Then I just go do the contest, come back, boom, 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 done. Still got fourth. Go still got fourth. Yeah. yeah. Still, still made some cash by just the way. On the yeah, actually, sports tour made cash, and I got a free uh, flat screen for an autograph <laughs> session that day. Yeah. Yeah. Crushed yeah, it. Yeah, Light it. work. <laughs> Did, Light work. <laughs> so when you got it, did you really think you'd do it? Did you listen to Dave? You're like, all right, come on, do this for a few seasons, and that's going to be a rapper. Did you think it was going to be a long term thing? No, I wasn't sure, dude. I was like, man, I had no idea, dude. I yeah. was like, man, like, because they didn't really keep hosts that long. Yeah. So it was like one or two or three seasons, and then on to the next. And this is only the 11th season of the franchise Yeah. Uh, at the time. So there was only 10 seasons before me. And they did them all over the United States and everything else. Yeah. So then when they when I got on was the first time that Justin Booth was the executive producer. No, second, sorry, second yeah. time that he was the executive producer and running the show. So he was God. actually running the show and it was the second time ever. And then he had Dave to work with and Dave was like a little bit difficult. Like he yeah. was, <laughs> he was uh, like, like cause he was, he was so rich. He didn't even care. He's like, he was like yeah. laughing, you know, he, he drank a lot too. He's like, I don't care, man. Fuck I'll do what I want to. Yeah, you fire me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. He was that guy. Yeah. But I was like, nah, dude, I'm not that guy. I'm not like, look how early did I show up? Like I dialed I, in, I show up on time dialed no matter in. what. No matter what, how much, whenever, how it is, that's that's just how I am. And so, it just fucking worked. Yeah, dude. And they, they loved it. Yeah, because they they were like, dude, this is our guy. So this season coming out too is your fifteenth. This is your fifteenth season. No, this is my twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, dude. That is wild. Like All you right. should get like they bring out like cakes and shit for that, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Twenty like, like fifth or twenty sixth season. I don't that's know. Wild. Might be twenty fifth. That's, that's not years, right? That's just no, no, no. Fifteenth like, year. Fifteenth year. Yeah, Got fifteen it. years. Twenty twenty sixth or fifth season. Got I'm getting ready to go film again, but then there's also one coming out right now. So yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, April first. April first is the premiere of I, the show that I we saw just filmed. Saw the trailer, Bananas. which is the trailer was hot, super sick. Yeah, it's yeah. Like military. Trailer was hot. Yeah, dude, shit blowing up. Dope. Where, where was this episode filmed? It was in Europe. I'll just say that. Okay. We're not oh, allowed to say. But, it? Okay, okay. Yeah, it was in Europe. Slow was, trickle of yeah. information. Yeah, yeah, it was dope. It was yeah. real, real dope. I loved the city. Fell in love with it. The Las Vegas of Europe. I fell in love with it. And uh, I already been there a couple times. And and we we've we've been filming there and stuff and it's been awesome. I loved it. And uh, but but this time I went there. I just really, I mean, it was it was really cool. When I first got there, the first two weeks, I was like, I don't love it here. Yeah, and then all yeah. of a sudden, the sun came out and it started getting sunnier every day. And I was like, okay, I could live here. I can I like it. This. Yeah. So, how long are the are the filming durations? Uh, two and a half months. Usually. Damn. Two, two and two and, and are you just there the whole time filming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just live there. So I, I had an apartment, and, and and it was awesome. Yeah, that was one of our questions yeah. too. Was like, all right, so twenty five seasons. We obviously, I'm, by the way, I'm a huge fan of the show. I've been watching awesome. it forever. Thanks. And uh, and you obviously get to see everything that's going on with the contestants. You know, all these pieces of the puzzle, and you're a major piece of the puzzle because twenty five seasons, like you know, you're, you're a staple. But 
what's TJ's life off the camera for three months, two oh, and a half months? You like, imagine the first trailers and back in the day were like, okay, now they've got to be like yeah, glorious. Yeah. But right? I mean, like, what are you yeah. what are you doing the whole time outside <laughs> yeah. of the filming? Like you're like they're getting filmed in the house, fighting, yeah, yeah, clawing yeah, yeah. each other, going fucking crazy. You're just chilling, surfing. It depends on where we're at. Biking, yeah, 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 yeah. It depends on where we're at. Sometimes I'm surfing. Yeah. Sometimes I'm scuba diving. Just massive ultra vacations and Sometimes. stuff too. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, yeah, kind yeah. of been like, yeah. I mean. I'll go to some tests. Sometimes I'll figure out, you know, whatever. Like if, if, if something has to happen, I'll, I'll see, you know, and do whatever yeah. needs to be done. But, but uh, somebody needs to get thrown off or something. I'll go there, do that. Of course. But, but my schedule is pretty lax, dude. It's pretty dope. And the girl that we had running the show the last time, Justin handed it off this to this girl named Emer Harkin, okay. who is running the show now, and she is my favorite person in the world i awesome. absolutely love the lady like she's already uh my favorite lady like she's just so cool and i love her accent anyway but now she has a bad you're, you're good with accents and, though yeah, what, what kind of accent is she yeah. oh, she has yeah. an irish accent irish, she's okay. like, let's hear it let's hear it she's, she's pretty i, <laughs> I feel bad we're just normal yeah. americans over here I know. You know? Yeah, she's, she's dope but but next next uh Next time we go to Australia, now we're talking. That's, that <laughs> accent's fun, but uh, yeah. but but Emer is is like my sister. I love her, so she's she's running the show now, and uh, and she's just she. I I feel like I had my best season because of her. You know, That's like awesome. she's she's like just real real yeah cool like and 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 very easy to work for and and with this and, long. I'm sure his family yeah. at this point yeah. now no, too. I mean, you know? I mean she, and like Justin's taken her and 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 groomed her to run the show Perfect. and then she did you know what i mean she really did it like and and so like everybody that's on the show now in this this crew is is all justin handpicked oh that's right so like the main dude that i'm talking yeah. about like with yeah. the draw from from alabama yeah that dude is the challenge like he's he's the reason the challenge is what it is and today. Gave it its for sure, one hundred percent. Yeah, nobody can touch that guy. Like I he, mean, it's evolved like crazy over the years. Put it this way, he's like, like the Yoda of yeah. the challenge. You know what I mean? Like he's the dude. Like he, can so see he knows everything. I don't even know if Yoda's real cool or not. I, I'm not sure because I don't watch Star Wars. <laughs> I don't so, watch it either. We talk. But about I hear this about this well. shit. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the point. I've never seen any of them. Dude. I don't really give a care about like, Star Wars. Yeah, I've <laughs> literally he, seen fucking none. Yeah, dude. But he's like, like the Yoda is. He's got to be the Yoda. But it sounds like Yoda's <laughs> yeah. like the main dude that's of everything. So he's like he's the Yoda. The point. But I don't know what the Yoda is. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that means he's cool. Yeah. Facts. Yo. So are you in these meetings? They're like, all right, cool. Last season was wild. The season. Season four was crazy. Like, how do we top this this year? Are no. you like, no, no? Oh, they wow. I'll, I'll pitch in. I'll, I'll send in my two cents, or I'll send in a, an elimination round that I like. Yeah, or I'll send in something that I invent or that I think of or whatever. Yeah. If if, but it, it's very rare. Does it yeah. even get used? But if it does get used, it's awesome. But it doesn't mean anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And they'll take my two cents though when the game's going for sure. Like if there's a a game going on. Or if I go to a test and I see something and I'm like, ah, that's not good. Yeah. That's not going to happen. There's no way that can work. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll, I'll show them why and, and help them out. But, but that's only like once in a blue moon yeah. that'll happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because always they got this. They dialed usually in now, have yeah. it so damn dialed. And, yeah. and then I feel better when I go and I didn't see the thing. So I'm excited about it. For sure. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, gotta yeah. be so cool for you to be like, all right, cool. I wonder what they're gonna come up with next, yes, you know? Yes, yes. That's and so I don't right. wanna know everything, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm on a need to know basis, so they keep me out of it. I don't even know if there's a second location or not. You know what I mean? On yeah. anything yeah. or nothing. So I just stay there and I just So right, the cool. plot twist and the twists and turns dirt you're in that yeah. too. Oh, oh, yeah. oh dude, I'm I thought like, you were all part of it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. You got your fucking screw. Mic drive. Exactly, exactly. So that way that way I have a little more emotion, so it's more fun for me. So that I get excited about it, and it's like, all right, yeah. now you guys. Holy are shit! Do you have, do you have yeah. any crazy stories? Yeah, of like stuff that wasn't maybe aired that all of us saw. Yeah, like uh, there's this girl named Star who's bad as hell. She was a really, really cool person, and and uh, I watched her break her tib fib, came oh. out of her bones. She was testing a trampoline challenge in South Africa. Damn! And I watched those two bones come out, and I was like. Damn, dude. And she was like a full trooper. Didn't even cry, I don't think, dude. She might have cried a little bit. Yeah. A year later, I broke mine like that. Two tib fibs right in the dirt 
in Florida and I cried like a baby. Dude. I was like, <laughs> and she's just the baddest chick I've ever, I, I, I'll never, I don't know her anymore really. Like yeah. if I saw her, I would know her of course. And she, and, and we would, if we talk on the phone or whatever, but we don't ever see or talk to each other. Yeah. But she was the baddest chick dude for doing that. I'm like, how That's did wild. she handle this? Yeah. When I was sitting there in the dirt, I was yeah. like crying, <laughs> bones sticking out. Yeah, Fuck. it was so. No gnarly. one tell her how I'm reacting. Yeah, yeah. It was just crazy. as long as Star doesn't see this. <laughs> yeah, man. So chicks do take pain way better than dudes. Obviously. For sure. That's wild. yeah. Obviously. Yeah. For yeah, sure. yeah. Obviously. That's so good. So like, are you friends with the, with a lot of the cast members? Yeah. Still a yeah. Bit yeah. Too? I'm yeah. friends with all of them. I love yeah. them all. That's They're dope. all real cool. Um, me and Bananas are real cool. Like yeah. we've been knowing each other 15 years. You know. So. Bananas, I'm a big fan, you know, on brand. Yeah, good dude. <laughs> on, yeah. Brand. on brand. Yeah. On brand. That's great, though, too, because, like, we, always, we were talking, too, about this, too, like, before, and we're like, man, I wonder, like, over all these years, right, you had to have gotten, like, so close to them at the same time, and then you, like, this, the show switches on, and they're like, okay, cool, like, it's got to transition a little bit, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. No, no, I love them all, but I don't hang out with any of them. Yeah. Like, ever. Yeah. Not even off, off screen. Oh, really? Nah. Like if they come to Vegas, they all they never call me. They congregate with yeah, themselves. Yeah, they they, right? they always do yeah. with themselves. They always whatever. None of them ever contact me outside of the show. Um, like when we're getting ready to go to a new show yeah. or whatever. Like they all contact each other, but they never talk to me and they never call That's me. That's probably when they see yeah. their hearts. They like, know, oh, yeah. <laughs> they know. Yeah, they know. You know, they know. Not not. Don't don't call that dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, he'll he'll un- shut me down so hard. This unspoken line, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's what it is, basically, because. I don't want any weirdness because I have to make some tough calls sometimes. For sure, you know yeah. I mean? yeah, sure. And it's like, sure. if if I was friends with somebody, like like last season, if I was friends with Ninja and I had to call um, Laurel out yeah. of that elimination, that was how, wild one that where they were weird, yeah. right? It sucked, dude. Yeah. And I didn't like doing that, and I didn't know how to do it right. And it is what it is. And it was it was a weird situation. But if I was friends with either one of them, it would have been really weird. You yeah. know what I mean? So like you're an asshole. Like it's, it's good your fault, that I wasn't. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's good that I wasn't. It's good like you gotta be unbiased. Yeah, dude. You gotta be cool. And I, I'm I'm definitely the most fair, unbiased person in the world. Yeah. And and I'll take any test. For the that. rules you are black I mean? and white. Yeah, you dude. know? Yeah. Black and white. I would I would take a lie detector test, whatever, in a heartbeat. Yeah. You know? So whatever. That's pretty dope, though. But at least you get, they got the mutual respect, right? You yeah, love they them. Do. They they're, love they're, you, they know. Right? They, they know I love them. They, everybody knows. Everybody's cool. But we're here to work, people. Yeah, we're here to make money. Yeah, let's yeah. Do let's yeah. fucking like do that. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> do you think, uh, when, you, when you finally end, do you think that'll change a little bit? you think they'll be able to reach out a little bit more? What do you think that relationship is going to be with them? Well, in when the future, over? when I'm done writing, yeah. when I'm done doing oh, this content. Oh, when you're done doing the show, right? Never. He's never going to never. No, no, no. End. I'm cool as a fan with them. Everybody's cool. Yeah, like Like Leroy doesn't really come on on the show that much. So if Leroy called me, he was like, yo, can I yeah. borrow a uh, hundred bucks? Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I might have to uh, sure, but that's Leroy it. was like, hey man, could you uh, meet me for breakfast somewhere? I need to talk to you about this business thing I got going for my haircut. And I'm like, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Leroy the barber, you know? Yeah. yeah. So I'd be like, yeah, sweet dude. Yeah, let's do it. Because he lives in Vegas. Yeah. yeah I'm like, yeah, man. So Leroy's cool. I like him. But, but, but if he's going to come on the next season or the next season after that, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm be like, look, dude, can't you know yeah how does that how does that process of like choosing the cast too they choose the cast members every, they do yeah every everybody season Peter too. murray they, they do it all yeah like, so yeah, they the all have a, it's a good thing too you stay out of all that I, yeah. i'm staying out of everything like it's yeah. funny because like on instagram and twitter and stuff they they always uh hit me and they're like yo bring so-and-so on bring so-and-so yeah, on yeah. i'm like Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you're I the do face, that. right? Yeah. Bit of Murray, they always see Bit of Murray is at the very end. He goes, Bit of Murray. Yeah. Right? Bit of That's Murray. All they see. Production. Right, so, right. So they, they think like, you're the guy doing it all, right? All the fans. Right, but I'm not. Yeah. I mean that's good though. Like you said, you got a like separation of church and state. Like this is yeah, it, dude. you know what I'm saying? One hundred percent. That's I mean, that's fucking amazing. So it's like are there any other like crazy surprises for the new season we should know about? Um, no, I just can say that there's a lot of badass vehicles. Okay. We saw the tank and yeah, the there's a lot of yeah. badass vehicles. It's crazy. Yeah, All the military yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's insane. pretty sick, dude. It's it's real, real sick. We saw some badass sights. Dope. Some sick stuff. So you're gonna see some pretty cool stuff. You're cranking these out. So how many more seasons are you for sure on? Like you have a contract for another like three seasons, four seasons. Um, two more seasons? for sure. Yeah. But uh it's I mean, we'll see. For yeah. yeah, yeah we're gonna, I think you got this. We'll re up. Yeah, for sure. I like that. I like that. It's good. It's synonymous, right? TJ and the challenge. It yeah, just yeah. is what we're, it is. We're, we're, we're family. You, so you guys are cranking what? Two of these out per year? Two a year, yeah. Damn. It's pretty crazy. That's four Non-stop. months. Non-stop. 
Yeah. That's bananas. I live in different countries yeah. four months out of the year. That's wild. Do yeah. you get to see your family? Because you're, you're married, right? If they want to come, yeah. Okay. But, but sometimes they don't want to come or sometimes it's busy or whatever. Like last time it was like, it, I I said it wasn't that good because I was there for two weeks and I was like, dude, this is brutal. I didn't see the sun for two weeks and I was yeah. like, this is going to be the mo- longest two months of my life. But then the sun came out and it was like, comes the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right. So There's there, the voice. Yeah. There There's it the is. Voice. To hear it. For, for free. Some. For free. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, but then, yeah, so, so sometimes they come out and say, what's up? That's My daughter's been around the world. Yeah, That's sure. Right. She, she loves it. Why not come check out the spots while, yeah, you're, while you're in there? It's cool. So like the drama in the house and stuff that too that's going on in the seasons, like you're never really involved no, in any never, of that too. No, you just no. watch that from the sidelines. Yeah, sometimes if somebody, and I don't laugh. even watch it. I don't even watch it. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, they'll show me footage if it's somebody getting hit some stupid like or you gotta kicked out. Yeah, I gotta kick somebody out. And they're like, "What do you think of this? This is this." this. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, "They gotta go." You know, you gotta you gotta sigh sometimes. Like, man, I, come on, guys, you you did this, you did this, I did, this shit I did. again, yeah, man. I'm like, dude, come, come on, on man. you can't do yeah. that. You can't. You do flew that. all you know the way it. out to this remote place, and now you like making all these idiotic moves. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I do that all the time. Yeah, 100. percent um, well, I mean, we're actually pretty, really pumped for this season though too. So let's let's get it down right now. Oh, we yes, got, sir. We got we're live good, podcast going on here. Good. <laughs> um, I love it. So look, we uh, you guys have any more any more questions? I think we. Uh, I mean, we pretty much covered the world right here with you, TJ. I mean, we, we did cover BMX. Yeah, yeah. there it is. BMX there is pop is. live. We here. There it is. Big TJ we're podcast live. residency podcast. Check it out. There he is. Um, so we do this segment at the end of every ep- every episode called yep. Eat It, Drink It, and Binge It. All right. So we give recommendations to the listeners and, subs- and the subscribers on stuff that we're either e- we're eating, we're drinking, and we're binging, whether it's TV, a book, a movie, uh, music, whatever it is. Mm. So um, we'll put you on the spot. We'll, we'll come to you last. So you have a little bit of time. But we'll do, okay. eat, we'll do Eat It first. Um, I'll start. I'll, All right. I'll, I'll start All right. this Here we go, too. Jeff. All right. So my Eat It actually is uh, Dream Pops. What the is popsicles, that? dream pops, yeah, the popsicles. There's, the branding super dope. They're sick. Okay. The branding is awesome. They're these like plant based like popsicles. They're sick, and they're like these little diamonds. They're so good. They got crazy flavors. Um, I was actually in a meeting today talking to to a guy about what they were doing too, and they might try to do like a collaboration or something in Las Vegas soon. So big fan of the brand, but check them out. Really good, dream pops. That's my that's my eat it. Nice, nice. What do you got? Love? So I've been on a fish binge. Okay, right. I've been. I've already said that um, Fish Co. Uh, California, California Fish, fish Co. is my spot. Yeah, but I didn't know, or I did know, but I didn't know how good it was that you can get like really fish meals made at Whole Foods. You literally go to the grill. You oh, say, right. I want that fish. I'll take a pound of that or half a pound or whatever. Slide me that, and they'll cook it for you. Put some vegetables with it, and it's like ten bucks. Dude, so that's can't my beat that. That's can't beat it, move. dude. Whole Foods that's does everything. Seller, you know what I'm saying? Whole Foods, Fish Bar. Just literally Whole go there. Foods is actually on my list right now the, of my my eat it. Really? Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Like, Stole it, man. Yeah, Sorry. you did. That's all right. Uh, what do you got? I just went to this little uh, Korean spot in Chinatown called BTS. Okay. Named mm-hmm. after the the, band? the music group, the, the band, the, right? The little boy group, BTS. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In there, they're playing nothing but K-pop. It's like an all-you-can-eat Korean banchan, which is like little Korean side dishes. Hot. P- fairly good, honestly. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was great. Inside is all tagged up. You can write on the walls. So we wrote some. some you a big K-pop shit. guy. You I'm, big. I'm, I'm, you a, I'm a you big K-pop I'm guy. Medium K-pop. Guy. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. Yes. The K-pop was dope, but it, it was called BTS. It's like it's like a buffet style, all you can eat, like little Korean side dishes, meats. Pretty bomb. It's like tapas for. Korean kind of? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. There we go. There right, we go. There Tapas go. for Korean food. For Korean. <laughs> for Korean. <laughs> BTS. All right, I like well, it. I was going to say Whole Foods vegan donuts. Oh, Those are well, dope. Dude, wow. the vegan donuts out of Whole Foods are, are so good. But, That's right. But you stole my Whole Foods. They're, are they're you vegan? Good. Uh, 95%. My, oh, wife, wow. my okay. wife's... Veganish, die hard vegan. So, okay, wow. so dope. I'm veganish. Okay. And uh, 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 But my go-to is, when I'm eating vegan, for sure, is Chef Kenny's. A vegan spot. It's okay. on uh, Flamingo and no, no, it's on Spring. No, it isn't. Yeah, Spring Mountain and Spring Mountain and Rainbow. Rainbow. Yeah, Chef Boom. Kenny's. It's Chef good. Kenny's? You been there? Spring Mountain and Rainbow. Okay. Chef Kenny's is so good. Wow, vegan. big recommendation, vegan. guys. So this is funny. So I, I, a couple of my friends are always vegan, and they always say, "Where should we eat?" Low? I'm like, I have no fucking idea. Yeah. I'm not yeah. vegan. Now I'm gonna go. We're going to Chef, Chef Kenny's, Kenny's yeah. bro, and yeah. you will love it. That's right, what, that's the thing is, it's like, fire. you're gonna love it. And, right, and, and 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 if you get the spicy beef. That's the one to get. All right, like it's crazy, done. dude. But it's it's fake so, beef. Yeah, yeah spicy right, beef. We're doing, Re- we're doing it. Replacements spicy. these days do are getting Let's so much better. Too. Like, spicy yeah. beef and orange chicken and, and steamed rice. You're laughing. Let's okay, do Chef it. Kenny. I wow, that. I love that. All right, cool. All right, drink it. 
Uh, you're you're gonna laugh at this one too, oh, Drew. Dude, I got Drew, one. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a good one. <laughs> um, but Don't fucking steal it. Fe- fe- I'm <laughs> trying not to. Trying not to. Oh, this is, uh, you're already fe- here. Yeah, yeah. Fe- so Fever Tree, but Come they, on, but Jared. they but they Come put out they put out a new grapefruit soda that's fire. Grapefruit, Fever Tree, Grapefruit Soda, Fire. Shout out to my buddy Carrie who reps Carrie. Fever Tree here. Yeah, that's okay. Carrie, yeah. I need some of this. Yeah, yo, Grapefruit Soda, Fever Tree, Grapefruit Soda is <laughs> the fire. Fever Tree fan right here. Hey, Carrie, proved Drew wrong. Fever Tree, Grapefruit Soda. That's my that's my it drink. Sounds it. delicious. It's fire. We did a so we were at a party last night too. And we did a cocktail with Ambrose with the Grapefruit Soda. Unreal, crazy, so good. What do you got? What's your drink? It. Because I can't find normal bottled water anywhere, I've had to be drinking this blue r- r- alkaline to real water that's at like the gas station. You ever see? It's a blue bottle. It's alkaline water. That's fake. That's Vegas. Yeah, it's, it's a Vegas, Vegas brand. They are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Real well, water. That, I'm yeah. drinking you guys. Real water. Real yeah, water. Real water. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm drinking them because I can't buy my normal like Vegas brand packs yeah. of water right now because of the coronavirus. So yeah. that's what I'm bitching is that, that is, alkaline water. That is a question we were going to ask you today too. Coronavirus. Are you traveling? Is that, is that, that sketch you guys out for filming the next season or anything too? I don't really care about coronavirus. Yeah, you're bigger oh, than yeah. coronavirus. 100%. Kiss my ass. Yeah, hey man, that, <laughs> that is, dude, there it is. Coronavirus, kiss yeah. my ass. All right, what do you got, Drew? You know what? Uh, came across a very, very special limited edition of the new White Claw. Oh, I did see oh, wow. this on your social so, media. White Claw filters. just came out with their brand new flavors. It's like watermelon, lemon, tangerine, and mango. Now in the variety pack. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Watermelon. Watermelon fire heater. Does this beat? Yeah. Does it beat mango? Is the question. I mean, mango is the glory for sure, but the watermelon was refreshing. And, <laughs> and again, I'm not a big drinker, so if I'm gonna drink and get a little wild, the five percent White Claws. Solid this guy's fr- I like that. Solid. Are these I like sitting in your fridge right now? They're at the office fridge, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. All right, I like that. What do you, what do you, what are you drinking? What non-alcoholic beverage is on, is, is on your? Is on Topo your list? Chico. Okay. The water, the mineral yes. water. Yes, it's fire. What Topo is Chico mineral, mineral water. No, bro. Is it straight water? Comes in a water? bottle. Glass okay. First of all, which is better? Yeah. And it's fire. It it will get you off of any kind of soda if you want to get off soda. You know, yeah. try and help yourself. Yeah. Lose some pounds, whatever. But Topo Chico is the best mineral water slash sparkling water, whatever. Is it flavored or just straight it, water? Nope, just straight water, and it's it's like just gives better. you that burn. Yeah, and it's the only other stuff that I've ever tasted in my life that had the burn like that was in Thailand. It was soda water? It's, they call it soda in in Thailand, and it's like super burn, and that that's what got me off of. Coke and Pepsi and all that stuff. Great. Like I, I never could get off of it for years. And then 10 years ago in Thailand, I had this these red sodas and I was like, Great. oh my God. And then I started drinking it and it, cool. But just recently I found Topo Chico at, at, at a Mexican restaurant and I drank it and I was like, oh my God, this is the best stuff I ever had in my life. So I, I've been looking for it and now I'm starting to find it. In different, different probably like the gas Mexican stations. grocery stores and things. No, like no, too, no. Like different Mariana's. gas stations have it now. And okay, really? Yeah, man. So you, you just Turbo keep Chico. an eye out for it, man. Yeah, Yo, it's a I'm it's a clear some. bottle with yeah. yellow writing on it and yellow yellow label. It's dope. I you're, like that. You're killing. Yeah, the you're, yeah, you're, I was gonna say yeah. TJ Lavin is crushing. Yeah, crushing. <laughs> right yeah. He's, like, yeah. he's probably that's, the best one so that's, far. Yeah. Best, best, best guest. You see, put him on the spot. He's got it down. The thing is, it's like we had all day to think of this shit. Yeah, yeah. This guy's coming off the top of the fucking head with heaters, bro. Crushing with heaters. Binge it, obviously, guys. Binge the new season of MTV Challenge, April first. But uh, my, my so my binge it too. I don't know if you guys are a fan. Oz, the new trailer for Ozark just Absolutely. dropped. So Ozark season three comes out at the end of the month. Unbelievable fucking show on Netflix. Crazy. I have two actually too, and I also have a book. I just finished a book called Principles by Ray Dalio. It took me a while to finish it. Unbelievable book. If you could watch it, it's like I think it's the best way to like improve yourself is to like create good habits. Principles. Principles. It's called Principles. Right yeah, Ray Dalio. Unbelievable book, like crazy. And um, like there, I heard about it for a while. I read a little bit of it too. I kind of got distracted and went back to it. And it's just, it's incredible. A lot of folded pages. It's like a really cool book to like just kind of resonate like how you should really be the best version of, of yourself. So, there it is. So be the like, best, Jeff. Binge it, book and and show. We got it. Nice, what do you got? nice. Binging it, I love behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, love to see how teams are working together, especially when it comes to sports. So that new season of Formula One is up on Netflix. Oh, um, dope, yeah. So I've been, I just watched the first two episodes. It's really insane to see what those pit crews and those drivers and those teams are going through. Formula One's yeah, sick. It's, wild, it's insane. 
Formula One's um, so that's what I'm binging right now on Netflix. I wish America would get behind Formula One more, honestly. Yeah, yeah it's honestly, insane. literally yeah. insane. Huge over in Europe. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. they're the yeah. fucking rock stars over there. Dude. When I when I live in Europe too, it was like when I got to see my first one, unbelievable. Like it was such a crazy experience, yeah. right? Un- I unreal. saw one in Gold Coast in Australia. Oh, did you? Yeah, the yeah. The, the, the F one over there, mm-hmm. crazy. Woo. Yeah, it's really good. What do you got, Drew? What are you binging? Uh, so over the weekend after my baby shower. Obviously, just kind of just had the next day to relax. Started watching. Congrats. Thank yeah, you. congratulations. Started watching The Pharmacist on okay. Netflix. Oh, I heard that's good. Right. You guys, have you guys watched I haven't it? haven't watched it yet. No. Oh. So it's about a, a pharmacist and his son. Netflix you know, getting a lot of plugs. Three plugs over here. Wow. <laughs> Hot right now, well, actually, dude. I saw the first couple episodes. Bro, it's a good show. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't. I haven't finished it. That's why I'm currently binging it. Okay. Uh, it's about a pharmacist who his it starts son, out his right? son yeah. you know, gets shot and killed in, in New Orleans. Yeah. He kind of helps solve it because the police are kind of lacking. Helps solve it. And then it goes into him being a pharmacist and how uh, all the drugs and the painkillers and the opioid crisis came mm-hmm. onto the market. And he's trying to help all the patients and how these illegal painkiller doctors are like running little illegal running clinics, scripts, pain yeah. clinics. It's fucking crazy. Okay. Anyway. I like that. The Pharmacist. Okay. On Netflix. I like it. All right. What are you, what are you binging? You reading some? Are you watching anything right now? No. I I, uh, I just bought that audio book, by the way. Okay. Oh, thanks. Uh I think the the one thing that I've been binging is Narcos. Unbelievable! Like the new yeah. one, Narcos, yeah, fantastic, yeah. Yeah. fantastic. Yeah. so good. So Narcos is 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 my. That's it's my one shit. of the few subtitles. If I watch TV, that's that's what I got. Yeah, be. I got to be on some Narcos shit. It's <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love that shit. You, know, you got to so, be. It's so tough to watch. You have to concentrate, right? Like I yeah. have to stare at the fucking subtitles. But it's the yeah. only thing that subtitles. I that can keep me like that's the only subtitle thing that can really keep me like yeah. engaged. Anything else? Yes. I, usually, I usually turn that shit yeah. off. I'm like I can't watch this. But you know, that I'm like oh shit. Me too, man. And I'm trying to learn. I, I'm trying to learn Spanish. I, I speak Spanish uh, a little bit. What are you better at, guitar or Spanish? Oh. I'm shitty at both. Okay, <laughs> like, so equally I'm shitty. Fifty percent good on both of them. Okay, perfect. You know, like fifty percent. Yeah, like like I, that's better than zero. Yeah, fuck yeah, there way better. Go. Way better. Okay, I'm thinking a Spanish song might be coming up soon. Maybe, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. maybe. Yeah. There it is. Maybe I will. Yeah. Tonight. I like tonight. This. Tonight. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Despacito. There we go. Yeah, this is this too many skills, right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys crushing it, dude. He's crushing it. Fluid. We're going to have that little sample. We're going to put it right out as a preview. Roll the song, tongue. Song Everything, coming too. Yeah. Uh, yo, TJ, this was awesome, man. Thank I you, man. seriously appreciate, appreciate you coming by, for sure. Up, man. Guys, Residency Podcast. Amazing, amazing. Wrapped amazing. up. Thank you, man. Dude, amazing. Uh, Pleasure. Guys, make sure you go follow us at The Residency Pod on Instagram, on YouTube. Download us on Apple and Spotify. New episode next week. We appreciate it. See you later. Love you all.